The National Archives is a government agency located in Washington, D.C., and they're responsible for preserving and providing access to historical records of the United States. They hold a vast collection of records that document the actions of the U.S. government throughout its history, including military service records, census data, naturalization records, and most importantly, maps. Their collection of historical maps spans from colonial times to the present day and includes topographical maps, city plans, maps of national parks, declassified CIA maps, and much, much more. Anyone interested in the history of the U.S. should certainly have a look. If you find perusing the archives on the main website a bit tedious or boring, then you'll want to check out the Unwritten Record blog. This is the National Archives blog dedicated to special media holdings. To filter out and view just the cool map content, click on the cartographic branch tag. Now, while most of the materials and documents you'll find here are in the public domain and they can be copied without permission, some of them might be subject to restrictions on use. So just be sure to check out the copyright and use case details over on the website. The David Rumsey Map Collection is a privately owned collection of more than 150,000 historical maps and related materials, including atlases, globes, and other cartographic artifacts. The collection was started in the 1980s by David Rumsey and has since grown to become one of the largest and most comprehensive collections of maps in the world. The collection includes maps and atlases from all over the world and from different historical periods, ranging from the 16th century to the present day. Many of the maps are rare and unique, and some are considered to be masterpieces of cartography. In addition to the physical collection, the David David Rumsey Map Collection has an extensive online presence, offering free access to high-resolution digital images of many of the maps and other materials in the collection. The digital collection also includes tools for exploring and comparing maps, as well as educational resources for students and scholars of cartography and history. The online collection is widely regarded as one of the most valuable and accessible resources for historical maps on the internet. To download a map, click on the export button and then choose from one of the many resolutions. To learn more about how you can use this content, go to the about page and click on copyright and permissions. Freevectormaps.com is just what it sounds like. This website has a collection of over 2,700 vector world and country maps. Simply select the map you want and click download and you'll be given two options. To download the map for free, you just need to provide the attribution. If you want to use the map without attribution, it's insanely cheap to purchase it. Once you get the map, it's available in a number of different file formats, including Adobe Illustrator, EPS, JPEG, PDF, and PNG. I use this website all the time to bring nice looking maps into Adobe After Effects quickly. I love to use these resources with a tool called Overlord. This is a premium extension for both Adobe After Effects and Illustrator. It allows you to quickly send these vectors from Illustrator to Adobe After Effects as a shape layer. Really, really cool workflow. The Library of Congress is the National Library of the United States, and it's the largest library in the world with over 170 million items in its collections, including books, manuscripts, maps, photographs, films, sound recordings, and other materials. It was established in 1800, and over the years it has grown into a vast repository of knowledge and cultural heritage. The Library of Congress is also responsible for the United States Copyright Office, which is responsible for registering copyrights for works created by American authors and artists. It also serves as a research institution for members of Congress and the public, providing access to information on legislative processes and policies. To check out all the maps, simply go to the drop-down menu on the homepage and select Maps. Then you can do advanced filters on any category you'd like. Not all of the content you'll find on Library of Congress is in the public domain, so be sure to check for the specific items that you're downloading. To read more of the details, go to loc.gov legal. Natural Earth is a public domain map data set that provides global scale geographic data in various formats, including vector, raster, and GIS compatible formats. It includes data on land, water, terrain, and cultural features such as roads, cities, and political boundaries. The Natural Earth dataset is designed to be visually appealing and useful for a wide range of applications, including cartography, GIS analysis, and academic research. It is developed and maintained by a community of volunteer cartographers, geospatial professionals, and data enthusiasts. One of the main goals of Natural Earth is to provide high-quality, up-to-date geographic data that is easy to use and free of charge for everyone. It's also one of the main data sources used by the GeoLayers Premium plugin for Adobe After Effects. OpenStreetMap, or OSM, is often referred to as the Wikipedia of maps because it relies on the same principles of open collaboration and peer review. It's a collaborative project that creates a free, editable map of the world. Now, to export imagery from OSM, you'd think you just click on the giant export button, right? Wrong. This will actually give you an OSM file, which works great for GIS programs, but not for After Effects and Adobe Illustrator. For a simple raster or vector image file direct download, click on the share button located on the right hand side of the screen. If you want to bring something directly into After Effects, I actually recommend using the PDF format. Naturally, changing the scale of the map will change the size of the labels as well as which map features are shown on screen. 
you'll want to experiment with different scale levels to get the look that you're trying to achieve. Now when you bring this PDF into an Adobe After Effects timeline, be sure to click on the continuously rasterize button so you can get those crispy crisp edges on your map features. Now, if you work in Adobe Illustrator and you have the skills to pay the bills, you can use the SVG or the PDF format to grab individual map features. OSM data and imagery is available under an open license, which means that it can be freely used, shared, and modified by anyone for any purpose, including commercial applications. Just be sure to provide appropriate attribution. Another great place to find maps is the World Factbook from the Central Intelligence Agency. The World Factbook is a comprehensive resource that provides information on the geography, people, government, economy, communications, transportation, military, and transnational issues for countries and territories around the world. The Factbook is published annually by the CIA and is widely used by governments, business, journalists, and researchers as a reliable source of information on international affairs. The Factbook contains information on nearly every country in the world, including its location, climate, population, ethnic groups, languages, religions, political leaders, economy, and major industries. The online version of the Factbook is regularly updated to reflect changes in the world's political and economic landscape. The United States Geological Survey is a scientific government agency that focuses on providing information on the geology, topography, hydrology, biology, and natural hazards of the U.S. And it's the best place to get topographic maps of the United States. Their website offers so many different ways to download maps that it's a bit overwhelming and confusing at first. I suggest you start by reading this page on their website, which summarizes all the options quite nicely. I'll link to it down in the video description. I found that one of the quickest ways to grab a PDF of a specific map is to use the map locator tool. It really is as simple as typing in a location and then double clicking on the area of the map. For more advanced controls and features, check out TopoView. It essentially allows users to view, download, and print maps and other geospatial information for free. TopoView offers a comprehensive collection of over 178,000 maps from the USGS's historical topographic map collection, which includes maps that date back to the late 19th century. You can browse and search the collection, zoom in on specific areas, and download high-resolution scans of the maps. So yeah, it's a bit confusing and overwhelming, all the tools here. You have the Map Locator tool, you have this Topo view, and then you have the National Map. You can also download PDFs of the maps directly from the store. And if you follow the link I mentioned before, you'll find all the details you need to know about copyright information. Wikimedia Commons is a free online repository of media files, including images, videos, and audio, all of which are available under free licenses and can be used by anyone for any purpose. The goal of Wikimedia Commons is to make it easier for people to find and use high-quality media files and to encourage the sharing of knowledge and culture. As a result, it has become a valuable resource for educators, researchers, artists, and others who need access to media files that can be used freely and legally. A simple keyword search for maps is going to bring you a lot of great stuff. There are plenty of royalty-free stockhouses out there that offer free assets. FreePick is a perfect example of one of those. They have a variety of graphic resources, including icons, logos, illustrations, patterns, backgrounds, and even maps. Just do a quick keyword search by a map, and you're going to see all that they have to offer. Now, while many of the graphics and resources on FreePick are indeed free, some of the products may require payment. So it's important to read the terms of use and license agreements, which, again, I will link down in the video description. Big shout out to my tier 3 patrons, Tyson the Keymaster, Mike and Sandra over on YouTube at Flumi Plus One, Ryan, Josh, and Alex. Thank you all so much for making this video possible.